What is going on, Jerry? Be Faction. My name is Joshua Williamson. So, um, stuff I hate. Episode six. We have five things on here, so let's get on to them. Um, first one. When someone dabs, you you guys already know. I've said this a few times already. I can I cannot stand dabbing. Um, and I'm I'm not I'm not even I. It makes me even cringe just to think about even doing it. Okay, I don't even I do not like when people dab. Um, prime example of this is that that idiot Jake Paul. I mean, I, I already don't like this guy because he was emotionally abusive to towards um, his ex-girlfriend. Um, he does stupid stunts. He writes terrible music. And I, I already, I could already tell that I wasn't going to like him simply because he, he was dabbing a lot. So, yeah, I hate dabbing. Um, next one. Oh, my God. When I'm watching wrestling with someone, WWE... And the only thing that they are concerned about is the divas. For example, well, I actually I'm not, I'm not gonna do no examples. Um, I'll sit, I'll sit and watch wrestling with someone, and they'll be like, "When's divas wrestling? Has the divas wrestled yet? Who won the divas match?" I'm like, "Dude, the divas are not that big of a deal in wrestling. The they are not focused. the The majority of the WWE is not focused on the divas." The majority of the the majority of the WWE focuses on the superstars. I hate when they do that. They they are only concerned about divas matches. I don't understand that. I don't. Um, I'm not gonna get in too deep into that. Um, next one. When it's hot outside. And someone wants the thermostat turned up, or when it's cold outside, they want the th thermostat turned down. Let me tell you something. My parents have a terrible, terrible sense of temperature. Like, it would be 90 degrees outside, and my dad would want the thermostat turned up on 78. I'm like, it's 90 degrees out. It is so hot outside, and you want the thermostat turned up that high. What? Like, why? What's wrong with your sense of temperature? And during the winter time, when it's twenty degrees out, my mom, my mom primarily will want the thermostat turned down on sixty-seven. I I don't understand. I don't know what's wrong with her sense of temperature. My mom, my mom gets super hot no matter what. She, she, she will. She will almost be sweating, no matter if if dur during the winter time, and she will be freezing during the summertime. That's the same thing with my dad. I, why, why? What's wrong with your sense of temperature? What's wrong? What's wrong with your testosterone levels? Ah. Next one. I cannot tell you how how badly this irritates me. I cannot tell you how badly this irritates me. And this, any anyone who bakes like I do, will pretty much get irritated by this also. When people become impatient about my baking, for example, if I was baking a batch of cookies, and um, something that my, primarily something that my brother wants, um, and you know that um, you have to let butter soften at room temperature for at least an hour and you have to let let um, eggs get to room temperature for for an hour too <sighs> whenever I tell him that he's like oh my god that takes too long just put it in the microwave I'm like dude a microwave is not gonna help anything it's just gonna melt the butter you don't you do not want melted butter when you're making a batch of cookies trust me on that People become so impatient when it comes to my cooking. Another time when this this happened once when uh, well a few times when I made um, homemade peanut butter cups. Um, I put them in the refrigerator to chill, and Mom was like, "Oh my God, are they so? Are those set yet?" I said, "Not yet. See, they're almost melted." Oh no, but I want them now. I oh my God. I cannot tell you how badly that irritates me when people become impatient when when a certain dessert is going to be done that I baked. 
another another time, um, my grandmother. Same thing when I made peanut butter cups. They were not they were not ready to eat yet because they were melted. Um, you know, you see. I tell her they're almost melted. She's like, oh, but Josh, I want one. They're so good. I'm, I'm looking like I know they're so good, but they're not ready to eat yet. Anyone who is a baker will pretty much get me on this one. Um, last but not least, when someone complains about the smell of a bathroom, Someone will go into a bathroom and they will say, Oh my God, what is that smell? It smells so bad. It smells like crap. It smells like pee. I'm like, dude, it's a bathroom. It's supposed to smell bad. Shoot. Let me tell you something. A bathroom is supposed to smell like crap. It's not supposed to smell all nice and good. It's not supposed to smell like flowers and dandelions and bumblebees, hummingbirds, and shish kebab, stuff like that. Ba <coughs> Bathrooms are supposed to stink. They are supposed to smell like crap. They're supposed to smell like pee. They are supposed to smell like sewer bottoms, okay? It's not supposed to smell good in a bathroom. <sighs> yep. That's been episode 6 of The Stuff I Hate. Post comments down below. Let me know what your opinion is on this. If you like this video, thumb it up. If you hate this video, thumb it down. All my so social media will be down below in the description box. The JW Faction is on a journey to 1,000 subscribers. Make sure to click the subscribe button and become a member today. You may go now.